256 gigabytes RetroPie image, fully loaded, over 20 systems, over 17,000 titles. This is the Mac Daddy, the supersized image. And with SD cards coming cheaper and cheaper, you're gonna see more and more of these as the ultimate image is here. So without further ado, let's get into it. Not only does it have emulation station and a track mode, it's running Motion Blue version six. So a lot, a lot of great things here, ready for you to customize, ready for you to enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. 256 gigabyte RetroPie image. We finally come to this. And I feel like this is only going to get better and this could expand more as you know, micro SDs get short, cheaper and cheaper. I got mine for $99, SanDisk Ultra. Um, the Samsung Selects and the Samsung Pluses are good as well. Do not get the silicon power one. I uh, ordered one of those and was not big enough. So definitely don't do that. So we have over 17,540 games. The reason why it's taken up so much space is there's a ton of PlayStation and a ton of like CD based games on here. Uh, not that many Dreamcast and not that many Nintendo 64, but a ton of Nintendo DS. And that's what's taking the majority of space here. Now I've already had some time to play with this image and I have to say it's gonna be a really good starter image. There's a lot of little details missing, but I think those have less undone so you can do them yourself, like adding bezels, splash screens, music, things like that. Now to get this image uh, working, you do need to expand your file system and you probably wanna disable that background music or add your own. Other than that though, once you set up your control you should be rocking and rolling for the most part. Those of you interested before you download all 256 gigabytes, it's actually 227 gigabytes, 244 billion, 384 million, 333,000 bytes. So you might wanna double check your SD cards before that. As I mentioned, don't get a cheap one, don't get one on eBay, go on Amazon, go on a reputable seller like Newegg or something like that and get a name brand, SanDisk, Samsung. Those are the two golden, Companies that I've heard across the board, I have yet to hear anybody complain. I've never had an issue. I've used them for years, never had one corrupt, nothing. So, and I've burned a lot of images, okay? Um, I'm not sponsored by them at all. You know, if there's a cheaper option, I'd give it to you all. Um, there's some links in the description though, if you wanna see the ones that I typically use. Now, here we go. Let's go ahead and jump in here really quick. I do wanna let you guys know, you know ahead of time, this is a track mode ready as well. We're gonna start here in Emulation Station, but a track mode is gorgeous as well, and I highly recommend playing around with that, especially with Motion Blue version six, because David Marty did such a great job that uh, it's so user-friendly, where a track mode is, a lot of people have been kind of staying away from it. Now, here we go, there's no Amiga, this is just the installer. First thing, CPC Amstrad 211, Apple II 337, Atari 5200 664, and not only is there pictures, but there is video snaps for all the systems. Now there's no pictures for the arcade set, but they go straight to video snaps for those systems that don't necessarily sell with cartridges or box art. For example, Atari 5200, 81 games. A lot of you are probably happy about this. This is something that's not often included on a lot of these images that we're seeing. So that's a little bit of a bonus right there. 7858, Atari 800 or 8-bit, 170. Again, not so much, nice little system to include. Atari Lynx 76, Commodore 64, 1572, Coleco Vision 140, Daphne 11, and this is nice because typically you only get uh, like Dragon's Lair 1, 2, and Space Ace, but here we have some other games as well. So nice that those are included. Dreamcast 9, mostly all fighting games, but nice to see. We have box art and we should have a video snap as well. Family Computer System 386, Final Burn Alpha, this is going to be your 1523. It's going to be your Capcom Play System 1, 2, and 3, and your other Final Burn uh, emulator based games. A lot of really good games in there, like the Punisher, Captain Commando, all sorts of stuff. Family Computer Disk System, 91. Game & Watch, 52. These are the little plastic toys we had as kids. Uh, game Gear, 332. Game Boy, 861. A lot of Game Boys. Um, I haven't really gone through all this, but I think there may be some hack games in here. Things like that, because that's a ton of Game Boy games. Yeah, there's some hacks in here as well. Baby T-Rex, things like that. But Game Boy games are so small. 
you know, if there was like a duplicate here or there, that's not going to be the end of the world. Where you're going to really save some space is if you want to slim down on your Game Boy Advanced. I might recommend going through here, deleting some games, and that'll free up some more space for a few more Nintendo 64 or a few more uh, Dreamcast, PSP, things like that. Game Color 535, and Television 137, MAME 913. So we're saying there is no pictures, but as you see, if I just wait long enough, it'll turn into a video snap. If you have a track mode, you're not going to notice that at all. And because there is no pictures, it just goes straight to the snap. Sega Master System 344. Sega Genesis. Now, I have to tell you, this does say Sega Mega Drive if you're launching this for the first time. But good news is there's a script within the RetroPie menu that David Marty put that you can switch this to Genesis or Mega Drive with the click of a button and a restart. Sega Mega Drive Japan 194, MSX1, 567, MSX2. Uh, 84, Nintendo 64, only 33. A lot of you probably wanna know what's in there. Here you go. So here you go, you got the box art and you have the video snaps for some of them, not all of them. A few little box arts missing here actually. And Zelda Turok Yoshi Story, Nintendo DS. Now here, to me, is where you're gonna save the most amount of space is go through your Nintendo DS games, find the games, find the games you want and then find the games you don't want and uh, eliminate them. There's a lot of space being used right here, but you know, some of you might want all those games, some of you can eliminate some, and that'll definitely give you some more space. Neo Geo 142, Nintendo 864. Again, I believe there's gonna be some hack games in here because that's a lot of Nintendo games. Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 40, Zorik, you get five games here, yay! MS-DOS none. PC Engine CD, another CD-based game system where the games are a little bit larger. So if you don't play those, good way to free up some space. PC Engine 285, PSP 18. These games are definitely taking up a lot of space. I don't imagine that, for example, Little Big Planet is going to run that great on the Pi. But you know, it's nice to have these games, and some of you don't mind playing at a little bit lower frames per second. Uh, PSP Minis, it does have 321 Super Crash. You are in luck. Best game on that system. Uh, PlayStation 103, remember guys, we had these 128 dedicated PlayStation images, and here we go with a 256, and we're able to get 100 games, that's awesome, a lot of uh, possibilities there, if you want to switch some of these games out, you can absolutely do that very easily, but these are some of the best of the best, the best sellers, everything from RPGs, fighting games, shooters, there's a nice collection, I like that Gran Turismo 1 and 2 are on here, that's good to see, Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 and London, nice to see. Uh, Pepsi Man is obviously on here, which is good. The Running Hero. Great game. Uh, a lot of other games. Street Fighter, some cities, Toombas, WWF Wrestling, some good stuff. RetroPie, this is where I was telling you we can switch to Genesis. This is also where you can switch into a track mode really easily, add some more splash screens. Uh, currently, there are no bezels on this uh, particular image, but all you got to do is click this, install the bezel packs, and voila, you are done. Loading screens are defaulted at the motion blue, but you can definitely change the launching screens into different ones out there. GPIO shutdown for those people using a fan or a power switch or whatever else you're using that switch for, you can definitely do that there. And then themes and collections and gameless utilities, you can add, remove things really easily. Turning off your background music is really easy here and adding new ones. So all that simple to do because of motion blue. Sega 32X, 33, Sega CD 169. This would be the last place I believe in this list where I would look at slimming some stuff down. You don't need this whole collection here. Most of these games you won't ever play. So, you know, removing half of them will definitely give you space for more, you know, PSP, PlayStation, Dreamcast, or even, uh, you know, Scum VM or some MS-DOS games. Whatever it's your fancy, you can definitely do that. Super Famicom 457, SG 1068, Super Nintendo 785, Super Graphics 5, Turbo Graphics CD, again a CD based image, might want to look in there if you don't play those, 47, Turbo Graphics 1694, Vetrix 23, Odyssey 279, Virtual Boy 23, Wonder Swan 109, Wonder Swan Color 88, and I'm going by these systems pretty quick because I don't play them very often, but some of you out there might, and uh, <laughs> Sharp 6800, 430 games, and Infocom 30, ZX Spectrum Simclear 11, 1112. Now the 17,000 seems really big, but as you saw, you know, with some of these older systems, you know, that's inflating the number quite a bit. But you know, there's probably to me, you know, eight or nine thousand titles on here that I would love to have and 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 reference and go to fairly regularly. Some of you out there would probably want all of them. It's totally up to you. So inside a track mode, it is not a nested system. A nested system being that 
you know, there's different categories, computers, handhelds, consoles. And then within that, you, in your consoles, you have all your consoles, your non-portable consoles like Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And then you go in there and you can go into the individual systems like we could do right here, like going into Nintendo DS. And then in here we have the room. So you can go room to room on this menu, or if you go back a screen, you can go system to system. Now, if you want to go to nested, it's very easy. All you would do is go to your RetroPie right here. This is something that a lot of people take for granted of Motion Blue version 6, which is they renamed it to uh, RetroPie. This is David Marty who did this. And he added all these really easy scripts. So before a track mode, you kind of needed a keyboard occasionally or set it all up. And this one is just super user friendly. That was weird. You wanted to go down here to display utility. And uh, that'll change all your displays. But you also can change your background music from a track mode, your Wi-Fi, shut down, get into retro arc, change your bezels. All that is easy to get to, which is not always the case with a track mode. Uh, you still have your favorites, you still have MAME. Let's go ahead and double check a MAME game really quick and make sure those are running well. So let's try Asteroids really quick, make sure this is working. All right, Asteroids is working. See, this game I've always, I hate, I never, what did I just do? Oh, I teleported. I usually didn't like once I started flying because I felt like, oh boy. <laughs> I felt like that was just danger. Danger, Mr. Robinson. But uh, I have to say it's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right so there you have it this is a track mode a track mode all set up for you ready to go you have all the same things really the biggest difference here being these full-size videos look how cool that is it really makes for showing this off really fun you know when your friends come over whether you're using a bar top or your TV it's just this bling bling really cool show off that um, emulation station doesn't quite have now when you go into the rooms, that's very similar to Emulation Station with the video snaps. But again, it's pretty cool if you have an arcade stick and you're scrolling in this with an arcade stick. It feels good. feels good. Take my word for it. It feels good. It's not going to work for you. You're going to run into issues. You need to go to Raspi Config. Advanced. And expand file system. Select. Go ahead and expand this. Reboot. Finish. Yes, you want to reboot. In conclusion, really cool image. I got to give this one an A. You know, it's hitting all the right numbers. As I mentioned, you know, it could be better. Where it could be better is really customized, like adding the splash screens, adding the music, um, you know, maybe doing like best ofs on some of the systems that are a little bit bigger so you can have more Dreamcast, things like that, because there is a lot more Dreamcast games that will run. And Nintendo 64 as well, there's a lot more that will run. But I mean, for the most part, for just, you know, having these massive collections and then allowing it so people can edit them after, it's definitely doing that justice and it exactly is what it is. So, uh, and Motion Blue 6 is great, especially for the old Raspberry Pi, the new Raspberry Pi, we're still having some issues. So, you know, with the uh, Raspberry Pi 3, they're still going to continue making it for the next five years. So this is still a very viable uh, image and with the cost of SD cards going down the 256 really isn't all that baller you know you, you know for $200 you get the Pi controller 256 and everything else you know you could probably do it all for a little under 200 and it seems like a lot but you know it's portable you could put it in a bar top when you really look at the cost you know it's not too bad if for sure if you want to do some you know cheap gaming just go and buy a 32 but as the 256 is out there i know there's some people that are in this market let me know if you guys got any questions comments concerns whatever don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one